I'm going to be installing this beaver tail hoe grip. You can check these on the back. This one's for the Glock 17 Gen 3 and Gen 4. A lot of people struggle with these. I've had uh, pretty good luck with them. I like these. Uh, they make these in a precise fit for a lot of firearms. And they have a good feel. Um, they're relatively they're relatively inexpensive. It's a it's a piece of like um, synthetic or modified rubber, and there are some supports inside. This one's got the finger grooves. This is a Gen 3 uh, Glock 17, so comes with the finger grooves from the factory. Um, again, a lot of people struggle getting these on. Some people say they tear them. They're very difficult. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you how I do it. I don't heat them up. Um, one thing that kind of helps is getting it a little bit warm with your hand. Um, I probably put these on at least a couple pistols, maybe more. And um, I like them, especially for uh, Glocks, Gen 3s especially. We don't have an adjustable back strap like the uh, Gen 4 Pluses. This uh, stippling or the grip on the side can be a little bit unfindable or... Uh, not effective to some extent. I mean, this isn't a giant modification, but uh, it'll help. I mean, if you want to try this out, I also have the Talon grips on my uh, 34, Glock 34, and, and I really like those. This increases the grip uh, size just a bit, so that kind of helps, and, and I had one laying around, so. I always find that starting with the front first and then working on the back, uh, seems to be the way to go. Some people do this with a spoon. Uh, I don't find that to be particularly effective. So start the front, pull down the beaver tail towards the back, and then just got to keep wiggling it. And once you get these finger grooves over, um, that does make a big difference in getting in getting it uh, pushed down this first finger groove over um, the two finger grooves are the hardest part but one way to do that is to work uh, the beaver tail down a little bit and then give a little bit more slack here. The instructions do say that you can use a piece of plastic in here. Um, I actually recall that I have used like a little metal ruler to help before, but uh, you can get this. It's just a matter of uh, some strength and uh, just working it and, and pushing it from the inside to get uh, these finger grooves over the base of the magazine well. And the other thing you'll notice is when you do push it, it does move. It's just really, really slow, especially when you get caught up on these front uh, finger grooves here, of uh, the front stippling here. But even just pushing right there, I could notice that it moved above the stippling. So I'm almost there. Last thing you want to do is you can notice that I'm a little bit shy of where these two um, ridges are supposed to go over the finger grooves. So we'll start with the top one. Just ease it up. All right, so I got it. That took maybe five minutes. Um, some people, again, really struggle with these. You want to see that it's lined up. If you do put a magwell, um, you're going to have to trim the bottom of this a little bit or push it up even higher. You can see that my finger grooves are lined up. Really nice rubber feel now. A little bit of a hump on the sides here where the supports are, but I find that that fits my palm really well. And the other thing about this beaver tail is it, it gives a nice groove and sometimes I hold really high. So it'll help a little bit to keep my uh, thumb webbing out of the way of the slide when it comes back. So again, really, really nice feel. You can try that again if you don't like it. It's not a huge investment, but um, that's the Hogue Beaver Tail Handle Grip Install. Let me let me know if you guys have questions.
There are some other tricks to do this. Some people put um, like window cleaner and stuff like that. But if you have some good uh, hand strength and you have a good working angle, um, it should be pretty straightforward and easy. Again, let me know if you guys have questions. A uh, little, just moving it here, minor little minor modification of the position. So again, let me know if you guys have questions or um, if any of you need help, you can contact me directly. Thanks everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe.